Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, July the 6th, Thursday, 2.15 p.m., getting near my destination, which is Guadalupe Mountains National Park. And in front of you, you see the tallest mountain in Texas, Guadalupe Peak, which is about 4,700 feet. If this video is a little shaky, it's because this road is a little rough, even though it's paved, it's uh, probably not very well maintained. But anyway, that tall mountain in front of you is again Guadalupe Peak, 8,700 feet. And I'm headed right to the right of it to Guadalupe Mountains National Park Campground. And I'm probably about 20 minutes from arrival, which is good because I am tired of driving. I've been driving since about 6.15 a.m. this morning, and that is a long time. But I feel okay, everything is cool, so to speak, except the temperature outside, <clears throat> which is, right now, right here, it's about 88 degrees. However, when we turn right here to go right towards Carlsbad, if you go left, you go to El Paso, which is 101 miles, but we're gonna take a right here on 180 and go east, and there's no cars coming, so let's get it, Rusty. Okay, there's no hardly any cars out here anyway, but you, it's pretty scenic out here. I like it. A lot of people think it's too barren and all that sort of stuff, but to me it's pretty. <clears throat> and I'll be here overnight and then I'll move on to uh, another campground somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. It says caution, high winds ahead. They do get some very high winds out here in the spring and in the fall. And I mean, they get some really high winds. winds strong enough to blow over an RV. How about that? Anyway, I'll show you back over here again. That's Guadalupe Peak. And people actually climb that mountain daily, daily. A lot of these young Turks come out here just for the express purpose of climbing that mountain and saying, they did it. Well, guess who isn't going to do it? Rusty78609 is not going to try to climb that mountain. No, 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 no. But again, we're about five, let's see, we're probably seven miles from the visitor center, so I'll run this till we get probably to the campground. Be about a 10 or 12 minute video. But it is a nice day. The humidity out here is probably 10% or so. And, uh, the temperature at the visitor center is supposed to be like 84. We'll find out pretty soon because I will be pulling in there pretty soon. But I'll let you guys look at Guadalupe Peak. Let me pull, let's see, wouldn't you know it? It's in the wrong, the mountain's in the wrong spot. <laughs> Somebody run over there and move that mountain. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty out here. I mean, you just come across all this desert, barren wasteland, and then you come to these barren, wasted mountain mountains. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a nice place. The, the best time to be here is probably in October through March. But again, you have to be careful of the uh, winds at certain times of the year and they'll tell you all about that at the visitor center if you call them. I mean you can check the weather. <clears throat> that may help a little bit but the best thing to do is just call the uh, visitor center and talk to the ranger or one of the people there because they have the current up-to-date info because they're there and you don't want to miss particularly if you're going to be out here camping in a tent and the wind's blowing 40 miles or 50 miles an hour all night. I mean, they get gusts out here much higher than that, but that it can be, it can blow all night. I mean, I've actually been out here in my Prius when I was camping in my Prius, and I just stayed one night, but the, the car was actually moving. The wind was blowing so hard, and I felt, well, I didn't really feel sorry for it, but I thought about the people camping in the camping in the tents because I, you know, some of them were just blown sideways. I mean, but again, that right in front of us is a big old mountain. There's three mountains over 8,000 feet in Texas, and I know one of them, that one right there, Guadalupe Peak. 
there's one out in uh, uh, near Alpine, Texas called El Capitan, I think, that might be one of the tall ones, but it, I don't think it's over 8,000 feet. Uh, my ears are popping. You know, when you go up in the elevations, you, you need to drink water so that your ears will pop. But my old truck is shifting gears here because we're climbing and the temperature is dropping, thank goodness. I think if it's 85 in that range, that's fine because uh, that means in the morning it'll be in the 50s. Let me turn over here and you can see this guy one more time. But again, that's, that's El Bigo. Guadalupe Peak. Now I've got to let him go or her go or it go and focus on the road. Yeah, my ears are popping and the temperature has dropped three degrees. We're down to about 80, 84 right now. And by the time I get to the campground, because we basically just climb right into the campground or the visitor center, and then when you leave there, you go up some more, and that's good. Yeah, we're down to my comfortable temperature now, so we're good. We're good. We're in my comfort zone, so that's good. And the t time right now is about 2.30. This is about the hottest part of the day. Probably another hour it'll peak. And then after that, it'll start to decline. The temperature will start to drop. And uh, by 6 p.m., it should be in the upper 70s to the mid-70s. So that's great. So I got a little bit lucky. Not really lucky. I mean, you know, if you plan it and it works, is that luck? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, it's dropping nicely, nicely, nicely. Not far from the turn off to the visitor center, you turn left coming from this direction. As you're going towards Carlsbad, the entrance to the National Park, Guadalupe Mountains National Park is on the left and it, it kind of comes up on you all of a sudden. I mean, you kind of have to be looking for it. Yeah, this is nice. This is the way it looks out around Alpine, Texas, too, by the way, in Fort Davis and Marfa. No, yeah, Marfa, yeah. Yeah, we're getting down to the low 80s now, folks. Yep, 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 yep. I knew it would drop. I knew it would. But it's been fun so far, guys. It, this is just this is the longest leg of the journey right here. And the only way I can change that in the summertime is to stay in a motel somewhere. But it's, I'd still have to drive a long distance to find to get a motel so that my second night or second day I could drive to the cooler parts of New Mexico and then from there I can go anywhere. And and the and they're all short drives because once I get to Taos. You know, within 150 miles of Taos is, is cool camping in, in any direction except south and east, excuse me, east. They got those weather vanes there for a reason. Okay, we're coming into the park now, Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Uh, one of those hysterical markers is up here. He must have a wide load coming behind him. Well, that's what it says. Oversized load. What's it carrying? My God, what is this thing? Yo! <laughs> what the hell is that? I help I know. It's a piece of equipment. Oh, I know what it is. It's one of those giant uh, uh, earth mover things. Yeah. That's what that was. But anyway, i got to get over here in the left lane. See, you come down that mountain or that hill, and then boom, you're here. Just a sign that says campground. And sometimes you can get trapped out by cars and being in the other lane. Yeah, this is it right here, guys. And old Rusty's gonna slide right in here. 
I don't need to go to the visitor center since I have visited here so many times, so I will go to the campground. Yo. I mean, would you believe it? I mean, there's two cars in the whole county and we hit right here. <laughs> That's the way life is, isn't it? Okay, here we go. We're going to Pine Springs Campground. That's what it's called. And there's another way to get to the visitor center. You can come down this road and then take a right right here and go back to the visitor center. The crazy thing is they don't let you camp there overnight. Even if the campground is packed and that parking lot is vacant, because I asked them one time, because it was pretty crowded, I thought, well, hell, I'll just go park in the parking lot. And they said, nope, can't stay overnight in the parking lot. So, okay, so much for that. But the temperature now is down to 82, which is okay. That's not bad. That's better than 92. So that's, that's okay. We can deal with that. It's a pretty place. I mean, the campground's in a beautiful setting. I mean, you're surrounded by these tall mountains. And the good news is the sun sets right over that mountain you're looking at. And, and, and so that gets the campground dark or shaded earlier, which is nice in the summer. Now, in the winter, it's just the opposite. They do have a camp host, and that's his thing right there. He's got him a J Feather travel trailer. But anyway, I'm going to go, the, the place I'm thinking about camping, good God oh my! look at this. They are, are they really that slammed? Oh man, well, let me drive down here and just look and see if my spot is available. See, they let me park in that old timers parking spot or the, the cripple or the handicapped lot if, if, if. Yeah, it looks like somebody's got it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Because that's a good spot. It really is, because it's got a, a slap. See, this guy here, he's not disabled. I already go tell him that. No, this guy just parked there. He does, No, he's got him one of those hangers, so I guess he, he's injured. That's all right. I'm not giving. But it, I didn't figure it'd be this crowded this early in the day. You hear that rattling? That is my cup in the cup holder. And this is this is the tent camping area, okay? And uh, why it's this busy this time of the year? It used to be. I mean, I'm just telling you guys. But there's a lot more people going camping now than there were five years ago. Even I'm telling you. All this technology has enabled people to work out on the road and do their keep up with whatever they're keeping up with over the internet. And there is a little bit of a cell signal here. It's not the greatest in the world, I will tell you that. Is this one available? Uh, yeah, 18 is available. I could camp right there. What do you think about that? I think I better take a hard look at it. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, that That is, because uh, behind it, there's a tent about 15 yards away. Not good for me. I have a feeling Rusty may be in a deep poo-poo, this thing. Because I have a feeling this RV spot up here, the RV campsites, I have a feeling I'm in for a, I'm in for a, well, I hope I get lucky, so to speak. Oh, lucky. Okay, well, no, well, look at this, there's hardly anybody up here. Well, wonderless, just wonderless. Okay, well, there's my campsite here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, see, the only downside up here, there's no trees. None, none, none. But anyway, I'm going to take number 21 right here. Right here. And the reason is, if somebody comes in... I've got plenty of space. Sorry about that, guys. I was, I was constipating on something else and forgot I had the camera in my hand. I'll have to get out and look and see how I'm in here. Whoa, whoa, horsey, whoa. Well, home again, home again, guys. Jiggity, jiggity, jig. So let's do this. Let's turn, turn the White House off.
Well, let's go turn it off till we crack the windows. Hang on one second. One second, guys. I have to roll the windows down just a touch. Keep it from getting too hot in the cab. Take a drink of water. Get out. Yeah, this is great. I guess it worked out all right. What, what do you think about that? Huh. So we're here, guys. After eight hours of driving, I'm here. Nothing to it, huh? Okay, let's look at this. Okay, I might have come back. Well, let's see. Yeah, I might have come back too far. Because when I put the tailgate down, I won't have a good standing spot. But I can correct that in a minute. I've got a little bench here. And the temperature is not bad. Not bad. Temperature here is about 80, well, 80 even, actually. But here's my campsite, guys. This is Rusty78609. I'm at Guadalupe Mountains National Park. And there's one other camper in this area. And, uh, well, I'm going to have to kind of move over and take up this whole space. But anyway, this is it, guys. They've got a restroom right over there. Uh, no showers. Uh, they have water. There's a little water spigot right by that little building there where those trash cans are. They also have uh, trash cans. I always hate to see those ones that are bare proof. They're not my favorite things to see. But it is nice. I, I can deal with this. I can deal with it. Can you believe there's people out there right now climbing that or on the trail camping or climbing mountains and stuff all around here but it's these young turks they come up here and do that sort of thing but anyway guys from i made it okay and that's the, the longest leg of the journey tomorrow i'll head somewhere else where i'm not sure got a nice breeze hallelujah so thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye from guadalupe mountains national park in texas right on the border of texas and new mexico and uh I USA when you can, drink plenty of water, three or four parts a day won't hurt you, particularly out here. Uh, take deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth several times a day, relieve stress, lower your blood pressure, feel better, live longer, stretch, walk, do all that good stuff. And uh, you know, you can come do stuff like this. Okay? Anyway guys, thumbs up, adios.